Hi, I'm Dr. Adeline Tang. Today I will explain a topic for the course Entrepreneurial Acculturation. So the topic I explain today is under Unit 2, Creativity and Innovation in Entrepreneurship. So for this topic, you have to understand the definition of creativity and innovation, discuss the importance of developing creative idea, and understand the different techniques to develop creative ideas. So before we continue in this topic, there are two very important terms you need to know in entrepreneurship. The first term is creativity and the second term is innovation. So we will need to know what are the difference between innovation and creativity. Let's look at first. When we look at innovation, we are looking at many different new products or services. Let's look at here, we have examples of new kind of mobile phones for different era. Okay, and this shows that when the mobile phone change from one model to another model actually is innovation, is a type of innovation. So innovation actually is the process by which entrepreneurs convert the opportunity into marketable ideas and these products are out for sale. Right, they are producing many different types of product for sale. So when we talk about innovation, remember that there are many different types of innovation. We have a uh, invention, invention that is uh, we creating totally new product, new services, and new process that never happened before in the market. So we have something totally new. But most of the time, we might have something that is an uh, extension. A kind of uh, extension in innovation, it means that we find new users or different application of the existing product or services. So for, so for example, we have a video call using WhatsApp. So they start with uh, having a messenger type of uh, SMS type of messaging. After that, they improve until now they are providing video call. And at the same time, we might have duplication in which we are replicate we are replicating the concept from another industry so for example we we duplicate the standard from fast food industry into education industry so we are uh, following the way of doing in fast food industry to develop education industry for example new tuition center and at the same time we might have thin synthesis synthesis actually is a process of combining several different ideas and items to create new product. For example, um, before we have a new type of uh, smartphone, we, we have phone, but our handphone is uh, mainly for the purpose to call and to do uh, SMS. But after that, we have um, combining several ideas, products into the handphone. So handphone today, we can use a handphone to take picture Okay, we can use a handphone to uh, write email, to even watch different type of movies for entertainment. So it means that we are actually combining ideas or several products, several products into one new product. Okay, so when we talk about creative, you might have able to find many different creative entrepreneurs in our history. For example, we have uh, um, new products such as Microsoft, okay, a very important app that we are using today. For example, we have smartphone is another important in uh, creation in history. So this is a video that you can have a look to find out what other creative entrepreneur that you can find in the history who develop many creative products for for us to use today. Okay. Let's look at another important term here, creativity. When we talk about creativity, remember we are talking about creativity idea, right? It's the idea. So creativity is the generation of idea that result in improved efficiency or effectiveness of a system. Okay, I have one video here also about Uber, about how Uber start the business. So you can click on this link to watch uh, the video about Uber. This is a very interesting video clip that tells us how the entrepreneur, the, the owner of Uber 
they start the founder of uber they start their business in uber right so we we can look at this video that explain the story about it okay let's look at the next thing when we talk about creative remember we always have a creative thinking process so normally for the creative thinking process we start from knowledge accumulation so we need to accumulate our knowledge first okay we need to have knowledge before we can even think of new ideas for example if you look at uber okay they have some ideas not by themselves but they when they watch movie they get the idea from the the movie james bond movie and then from that they have ideas so we need to accumulate our knowledge our knowledge can be from any way it can be from our friends it can be our experience it can be the uh, books and newspaper that we read and in the uber case is the knowledge from the movie so with this knowledge we can start to think incubation process is actually a thinking process we start to think we start to look for the best idea the best idea we can uh we can use to to produce new product and new services after certain time of uh, thinking then suddenly we say oh i have an idea oh i know what to do next so this comes the third step the third process the ideas now we come up with new ideas here we say oh i want to do this i want to do that i think i can improve my product using this method and with that you you cannot stop say okay i start to produce my product no you have to start to evaluate and to to check whether these ideas are suitable or not you might have a few ideas you might thinking should i combine the ideas together or should i have different ideas so your ideas might need to evaluate further before you decide whether you need to use it or not so a good idea might not come just be the first idea that you create it might be the next the third or even the fourth idea that you have so you need to continue to evaluate the idea and think of how to implement it is it suitable to implement in the product or for the product or for the process so what are the importance so creative thinking idea is so important because it will help us to generate business opportunity okay generate business opportunity from problems difficulties limited resources and environment so creative idea is so so important okay next i have also another video clip this is a video clip that uh, they recorded more than 10 years ago. Uh, it's a video about Tesco, how they improved their service in South Korea. So you can search the video clip from YouTube and you can watch it. Huh? This is a very interesting video clip. Next, right. So beside that, we are looking at what are the different techniques for generating ideas so one method is we have brainstorming in which we might sit down together and we think outside the box we want to find out the best idea so we keep on thinking we keep on discussing we keep, keep on uh, looking for good ideas and sometimes we might get the best idea after the discussion or after the thinking uh, another method to to create new ideas to generate new ideas is actually what we call forced analogy sometimes you must be forced when you are in a very stressful environment or distressed environment you are forced to to change so sometimes when businessmen they are facing problems they might have to think of a way out okay when they are facing some loss in the business or facing problem in the business they have to start thinking what can i do next to improve my business so sometimes because of the stress then they can get new ideas better idea and then another technique that people might use to generate new idea is do it okay from the word define the problem after that open mind and start to think okay i have this problem what can i do to solve the problem and then you might have a few ideas 
and after that you identify which one is the best idea identify the best solution to solve it and after that you change you change the product or you change the service or even you change the process of producing the product right so how about the next technique another technique we call it map, mind mapping mind mapping means that you might have to think uh, yourself or in a group but you draw it down draw it down in a mind map all the ideas and you are trying to connect the different point of the ideas and trying to see oh, whether I can connect this point to another point so with that you might able to create some new uh, uh, ideas okay next you might have nominal group so you refer to somebody for advice to do the uh, to get new ideas or you can do observation or survey in another word you might ask customers what are the problem you facing you are facing when you do this okay what are the uh, your expectation towards our service our product so with this by using survey or observe how the customer think about that product actually will give you idea how to improve further your product sometimes customer will give you good ideas how to improve it sometimes by observing how the customer use that product you might get wow okay i think i have to improve this product so these are the ideas you can get from the customers besides that we have another technique we call it six think thinking head technique this is a very interesting technique which you can use in your group discussion which you might have different uh, members with different head so the leader will wear a blue hat he will be in charge of uh, make sure you are discussing so uh, a student who wear a green hat will have critical thinking uh, very creative thinking okay and another student with a yellow head will do constructive thinking so you can do different type of thinking at one time and then you discuss the issue from different point of view so this will really help you to improve your idea and after the first round of discussion you might change your head and then you have different people to start thinking of different things so this is a good way that will help you to think about the idea all right so besides that you can also look at your senior project okay refers to your senior project see what are they doing okay so when you look at how they do it maybe you have some ideas how you improve your product or what other product you can make so uh, we have a video clip that you can refer to for some creative ideas that your senior did during the previous APK project all right so for today okay for this unit i will stop here i will stop here i have one discussion question in the schoology uh, um please do it after you watch this video clip thank you for watching and i have another video clip you for unit three please um watch it also thank you thank you very much